The Shady Grey is a cluster of unstable sublevels that are extremely rare and difficult to get to. The levels all consist of black and white, grayscale, unstable environments that few can survive. Level 0 is the first and most stable section of the Shady Grey. This is the only level you can travel without any type of severe danger, as long as you get out before night. The level seems to be a forest with the black and white effect that the Shady Grey levels all hold. The trees are often glitched within each other, aside from that, the level is mostly stable. When you enter the Shady Grey, you will wake up in a grey shack. After exiting the shack, there's a sign on the door of the shack that says, zero, 00. That's how the name of the sublevels was developed. The level has a 12 hour day night cycle, however. Instead of slowly fading into day or night, the sky instantly changes from day to night without any warning. During the day there are no entities, but at night the level becomes ridiculously dangerous. Any natural light that was previously in the level will immediately disappear, and the level will become pitch black, to the point where you can't even see your hand in front of your face. Typically, you can hear howlers begin to howl for about 5 minutes, almost as a warning. Entities who likely have adapted night vision, will appear and hunt down any humans on the level. The entities in question are unknown, due to the night state of level 00 being totally devoid of any light. Attempting to use a flashlight will not work due to the level's black and white effect. The only way to tell when it is going to turn day or night is from the clock within the shack you wake up in. The clock will be normal during the day and begin at 12. When the level goes into the night state, the clock will glow and will go like this until once again hitting 12. During daytime you can find almond water lakes, rivers, and even waterfalls. However, at night the almond water suddenly turns into liquid pain until daytime, when it becomes almond water again. Even if you bottle it up and take it away from the source, it will still become liquid pain. Due to this, it is not recommended you drink any almond water in this level. You can go to level 1-1 by taking a branch and drawing a pentagram in the mud. The floor will open up below you and you will fall through a hole into level 1-1. Level 1 is an extremely unstable, black and white mansion. When you fall into level 1, you will appear in the lobby of the mansion. Most of the furniture is glitchy and distorted. Touching it could result in your body becoming distorted, or unnaturally mutilated. There is one entity in this level known as the Landlord. The Landlord is an incredibly dangerous entity that roams the level. He wears a fedora and a business suit and always carries a briefcase. If he sees you, he will approach you slowly. Attempting to run will result in all doors closing and locking before you can exit. When the landlord catches up to you, he will typically talk to you and then kill you in a twisted way. He claims anyone who enters the level is trespassing, and will punish for it. Currently, the landlord is considered to be dangerous and unpredictable. A few people were able to escape him by shooting him and managing to break down the door. Breaking down the door and entering will always result in you ending up in level 2. This section is highly unexplored due to the danger of the landlord entity. Level 2 is a large, thick, forest covered in snow. This level is one of the safest and most explored levels in the Shady Grey. It is unknown exactly why this level is covered in snow, as the temperature is extremely hot. Many people who've died here, ended up dying of heat stroke. Almond water can prevent this, and keep you hydrated. 
Many wanderers who don't come prepared end up getting overheated and dying. This level appears to have a sun, but none of the snow melts. This area appears to have nothing special about it, other than a rare entity known as fallen angels. Fallen angels appear to be humans with large black wings and blue robes. They often are seen with injuries such as missing body parts, and usually have large black horns. They are docile and will talk to you if you start a conversation with them. The only time they will attack is if you mention anything about level 71. Getting to level 33 is very easy. Ask one of the fallen angels, and they will thrust you through the ground straight into level 33. It's unknown how they can do this, as they refuse to explain. Level 3 is one of the strangest sublevels within the Shady Grey. Level 3 is an infinite ocean, what makes it strange, is that the ocean is filled with clocks floating around in it which seem to have time-altering abilities. The ocean itself is quite toxic and is made of distilled water mixed with what is believed to be mercury and engine oil. The clocks float around the ocean, unaffected by the water. So far, Mech has found four types of clocks floating around. Analog clocks, digital clocks, watches, and grandfather clocks, each with different abilities. Analog clocks are the safest clocks. Touching one has a chance to send you back to level 2. If it doesn't lead to level 2, it will lead to level 4. Digital clocks are very dangerous. Picking one up will immediately teleport you to a mysterious black void every time. Watches are used as weapons by groups within the level. If you point the watch towards any living being and turn the hands forward, it'll time travel the victim to the day of their death. This isn't instant death in all cases, it's possible to avoid it and change your fate. However, many people end up dying to watches, which makes them incredibly dangerous. Grandfather clocks are the largest clocks. Most people who use grandfather clocks throw the victim onto them while they float in the water. Throwing someone on a grandfather clock either causes the victim to painfully turn back into an infant, or age rapidly into an elderly person. The victims usually end up drowning, since neither outcome results in the person still being able to swim. This area is extremely difficult to set up an outpost in, due to the many communities that conduct watch attacks on each other. Analog clocks seem to be the only way to get to the final stable sublevel, which is known as level 4. Level 4 is the last known stable sublevel within the Shady Grey. If you successfully make it to this level, you'll fall and splash into the river of the level. This river runs through the whole area and seems to be infinite. The river is surrounded on both sides by skyscrapers. The buildings are typically very glitchy and sometimes can be found defying the laws of physics. All skyscrapers entrances are locked, but can easily be broken into. This is not recommended, as every building is extremely infested with dangerous entities. The streets are also filled with armed facelings. If you get too close, many of them will often attack you and mug you. They are usually seen in black jackets, jeans, and a black beanie. If you hand over any sort of money, weapons, or supplies, they will give you almond water for some reason. Handing this to them will cause them to be docile towards anyone for one hour. The mangled also roam this level. They walk around the level looking for humans to stomp on. The level often has extreme environmental conditions. Natural disasters occur often, such as blizzards, acid rain, tornadoes, and many other things of that sort. The entire level is overcast by thick grey clouds, making the level extremely dark. Currently, there is no known way to escape level 4-4 on purpose. The only way is to try to accidentally no-clip through the ground into the final, heavily unexplored sections of the level. <laughs>